Oh, hey, I'm excited. I finally got back to the point I was at. So, let's just start back up the Let's Play. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's me, the Game Truth here. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. But this time, we're playing The Wind Waker HD. I, um, if you guys saw my reaction to the HD version, then we already know what we're gonna go up against. Let me go quickly turn this down. Let's play loud. But yeah, I was already playing a bit of it. Um, I have, of course, created a second file so I can go through it the same way. So I don't have to keep restarting my file. But, here we go. We are at Dragon Roost Island. And this is where we're going to start up the, back up the Let's Play. Because I... I think I um, forgot to um, go blow up this place, so I'm going to go quick and do it. But other than that, I think I've gotten everything. Let me go double check something quick. Um, go to... Um, I forgot that you can't switch... You, see, you can't see the items on here. Um, how do you see the songs? I think I need to do this quick. I'm pause it. Okay, it's not... I don't think I have... I, mean, I forgot I have to get the music again, so I'm going to have to quickly do that. Let me go quickly go get some musicage. Over here, because this is going to be one of the key aspects that we're going to have to do. And also, I realized that you have to, um, in order to get the, um, like the ultra fast sale, you have to go um, to the auction at night. And so, I will go after the temple, um, go get the swift sale. So, you don't have to worry about that too much. So, here we go. We got the Limbwick Liam. Do 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 do. Yes, that's a mighty fine please. But I, I think I only read this in the GameCube version now I think about it. So I'm just going to kind of skip it because you guys already know. If you guys have seen the other parts of this playthrough, then you guys already know. And so I, I almost feel kind of bad skipping through half of these texts because, like, I was way reading through the majority of it um, during the LP, but I don't know. Anyway, so let's not waste any more time. Let's just hurry up and try to get back here. So we're getting back into circulation, so. Do, 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 do. Okay, go. There we go. And then drop. Because I'm getting more and more used to it. Which I actually did, in fact, beat the um, temple um, of um, this place um, during my um, solo one. And that was only because I was um, one I really do. I wanted to. I loved Wind Waker. Going up, and so that's one of the main reasons why. Oh, okay, hello, being attacked. I think I got him over here, though. I think, yeah, there's a bomb over here. I say I call him bombs. This isn't Mario, but yeah. Um, as I was saying, I did in fact um do the temple in this place so I could familiarize myself with the temple instead of me bombing, bobbing along like an idiot for like five minutes. So, boom. Okay. <laughs> I said that I want to blow myself up until we get out here. Then some hearts, and yes, I do love um, it. The sound music and stuff of the HD version is kind of the same as the GameCube, in my opinion. Like um, I w was actually just watching the last LP, like my last part of the LP, and I actually um, like um, the music and stuff in that in the GameCube version is just as good, in my opinion. So it's not like it's they changed much. Like, I feel like they amped up a lot of the music, but it's still, like, the same music track, in my opinion. So, Kitty! Kitty, is that you? It is pleasure to meet, see you okay. I must say, you have traveled far with no wings. And your sister, is she still kidnapped? So, 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 is that so? Well, don't worry much, too much. I'm sure we'll hang in there. Any idea? I have an idea, Kitty. Why don't we go and meet the Chieftain? I've told my people all about us, okay? I was certain the Chieftain will befriend you and lead your aid. It's sealed then, it's sealed then. I'll fly up ahead and tell everyone you're coming. Come inside, Kitty. I'll be waiting. Yep, so here we go. He's flying off. And Yes, I do, in fact, love, 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 love this game so far. Like, it it really is bringing me back to, like, that time where I was, like, I got to this point in the game um, as a kid, and I was just like, I'm just going to mess around, because I have a sword, I have a bow, I can go wherever I want, not really. 
But yeah, specifically this part. This is the first temple of the game, and this is the only temple I actually really like. I didn't really like the Deku one. The, the Deku Lake one. Well, they have de um, delivered the cross of the Great Volo's Anger. Hello, what's up? Ah, so you're Kitty. Quill has told us much about you. A troubling tale indeed. In I insist that... I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall assist you at power. However, in the meantime, we have another problem of our own to deal with. Okay, fine. What is it? We have a... Uh, uh, you... Uh, I'm just basically skipping it. Why not? Because I cannot read the, like, text type... Because, like, the way the wood stuff is just... Yeah. So, basically, there's this giant dragon that is wrecking ha Um, is basically getting upset and causing, like, devastation up here, and it's up to Link to go try to settle down it, but, of course, Prince Wormley is also one of the only ones that can speak the dragon's language, but he's having, um, emotional problems, that's the best way I can put it. it he, uh, my, let me be, more, let me be direct, my son, Konami, is of the age of owning his wings. Yet, he is weak in some ways. In light of this core situation, I'll give... I'll may, he may just give up on getting him. So what do you say? Would you go sell some courage with him, my son? My son? I look nothing like you! Anyway, so, yes. So let me go quickly get the, um... The, um, mailbag from, um... The Mildy, I think that's how she pronounced her name. She's, she's a pretty cool character, in my opinion. Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. I didn't get the note from her. Then I'll be able to use it. You should find Melody. She is upstairs. Let us devour. Help you. The, in the meanwhile, you best aid Prince Konami. Dude, the uh, the wheels were so cool looking in this game. Like, in Breath of the Wild, they look fine. But they except they look a lot more like Fox... Uh, not Falco from um, Star Fox. They, they just don't really look like their own character anymore. Well, you do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You are Kitty, aren't you? Pleased to meet you. My name is Val. My. Uh, 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 my name is Mildy. Mildy. I mean, these names are so hard to pronounce. Anyway, so we give the note so we can give it to Prince. What's his face? And you know what? I want shots on the here, which I actually didn't do in my um, playthrough. My like my solo playthrough. I'm um, actually one second. Go. I say solo playthrough. My off cam playthrough. I was my favorite to ask you. Could you please help? Could you please come to the entrance of the Dragon Roots Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Which of course explains the majority of the reasons why. But before we go over there and load the notes, we're going to go play some uh, note. Oh, wait, I'm going to have to like set this down because this is a mini game that you're going to have to do to get rupees. You're supposed to match the notes to the seal. So basically, remember that scene from um, the Jim Carrey's The Grinch? Where he's like throwing the notes all, all over the place. That's basically what you have to do here, but except it's a lot more. Blue. No, yeah, it's basically a lot more of this. Come on. Oh, wait, what is the potion? Um, green. Oh, I'm screwed up. Um, island, island. There we go. Red. Mouth. There we go, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Junk! Junk! No! 17. You pass. You get one rupee. Okay, fine. Whatever. You get one rupee for um, every um, one you got white, which I got eight in now. All together. Um, like eight white ones. So we go downstairs over here into this long hallway. We will eventually find the boy, which actually has the den's orb, which of course you get by being the temple altogether. Now, so yeah, basically story reasons, but yes, he does hold one of the elements that we need. Who are you supposed to be? Oh, rude much? Okay, one second, let me go quickly. There we go. Man, it's so quick and easy. Love for my father. Oh, I'm so, uh, oh, sure, telling me I'm all brave and easy is for, easy for him, but I'm not like him. It's not like he still has to go to the, get the scale from Volo. You love to? 
poking your nose in El Pizzo's business and nosy, aren't you? But sorry, I don't feel like Volo right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get to the scale from him when he's so upset? Yeah, so that's basically him. He's being a bit irritate. He's a bit of a butthole right now because he is having to basically get onto me about trying to save my own sister. And in order to do that, I need a stone, which, yeah. He is just basically just there. <laughs> but anyway, besides the point, I'm going to go up here and we're going to get this adventure truly started because we're actually going to enter our dungeon. Woo woo! I say, I say whoop whoop because we can actually get some actual more intense parts. Like, I feel like the last couple parts were okay at best, but yeah, and we had to go down now. One second, where you go? Can I backflip out of here? Maybe I can like jump attack. Nope. Nope, never mind. <sighs> had to go downstairs, dang it. <sighs> had to keep going downstairs. But I do like the um, uh, option menu where like, it doesn't have to end up with the TV in order to. um. Because, like, uh, my pad, like, on the bottom part of the gamepad, I think I showed this off in the, um, uh, in my, um, the HD preview video, but I actually am able to, um, move the, um, items from the touch screen up to the, um, top screen, which I think is pretty cool, but also it's not visually interesting whether I'm trying to get an item. But I'm, so, I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place, but I had to. I need your help. You see, this place used to be a spring surrounded by beautiful ponds and beautiful and lovely. But then Valdo got so angry, his rage broke the swings. So that's basically the main reason why this whole thing, why this whole thing is basically happening, is because Vol Volo, the dragon, is just being a being butthole and just wants to be upset because his monsters. That's basically what I say. The evil power of Ganon. So the first thing we do is we toss her up here so she can go get here. And this is actually the part I got stuck at, like, forever as a kid. So we're gonna go up here, um, wait for the wind to go blow in that direction. Because it will blow straight forward, like, now. And then she made it, she's all like, yay! First try! Now I'll be able to go uh, talk to the dragon and try to calm her down. Because she understands the dragon's language. Because that's what these people know, is the dragon's language. But also, she gives you this. She yeets a glass bottle at length. Yep, and we get our first item of the game, which is an empty bottle. Which, I say first item. First, like, useful item. Resourceful item, if you will. I mean, I guess the telescope is a resourceful item, but... And also, um, real quick, I want to bring up that the Game Boy, um, player type thing that was in, um... The original Wind Waker is actually replaced with the uh, Mi, uh, not Mi, but the Mi Voice uh, online service capability, which nowadays it's basically useless. It's a it is a useless item because the Mi Voice service is unfortunately discontinued in 2017, 18, maybe. I forgot when it was discontinued, but it is discontinued now, so I won't be able to show off that feature. That's the only thing I'm really not showing off for the HD version. I wasn't really going to show off the Game Boy functionality either, but uh, maybe I was. I didn't, I forgot if I was or not, not to be completely honest. But, yeah, I think I said I wasn't going to show it off, but... Yeah, I'm just waiting for stuff. So we just blew that up, and we are about to enter the Dragon um, Roost Cavern, which is by far, again, my favorite temples in the Zelda game. Mostly because this is, this is like my third time going through it. And it's actually a pretty fun temple. I do it. I Like, it's not like one of those... I mean, it is one of those temples when that happens. Like, I barely moved the control stick and he still moves. Like, that was the only thing I way really hate about the, um... About this aim version of Wind Waker. Because, like, the thing that, that they didn't really fix with the HD version that I was kind of mad... Which is it's the kind of the same reason why, like, I don't really, like, if they get ported to Xbox or, like, say, Sonic Adventure um, 1 and 2 got ported, like, they still have these same problems as, um, say, Sonic, um, as, say, this game, like, the Wii U remastered. Like, they, they do look beautiful, though. I do have to say that this game looks beautiful for the... If I could jump up there, man, come on! It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Evidently, it probably is for length, but I don't know. 
Yee! Come on, Vasquez, we got this. I should have named him Vasquez. Now I think about it, like, that would be a perfect, that would have been a perfect name for him. Anyway, so over here. Jump that. Nope, I didn't get that yet. Okay, come on. I missed it again. Come on. Trying to get. There we go. Third, five thousand tries a time. So there we go. So we have now made it inside the cavern, and welcome to the first temple of the game, Dragon Roost Cavern. And so, yeah, that's actually where I'm going to kind of end the part, just because I want to make the entirety of the temple the full um, part. So. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a great night and keep gaming.